After checking in, the candidate will be fitted for a helmet, gloves, and turnout jacket that will be worn throughout the entire test. An SCBA pack will be donned following the first event. The candidate will don the provided PPE and make any adjustments necessary for a proper fit prior to beginning the test. The candidate will enter the designated door of the training tower and follow a hose line through a designated course. The candidate will exit the training tower upon completion. Critical failure points include losing contact with the hose line and becoming lost or disoriented, or failing to complete the event. A proctor will assist the candidate with donning a ladder belt which will be attached to a belay system throughout the event. A proctor will then assist the candidate with donning an SCBA pack and adjusting it for proper fit. When the candidate is ready to begin the climb, a proctor will attach the candidate's ladder belt into the belay safety system. When given the command to begin by the proctor, the candidate will climb the ladder hand over hand to the third floor window. The ladder will be placed at a 70 degree climbing angle. Once the candidate reaches the top of the ladder, they place both hands on the top rung, at which time a proctor will give them the command to begin descent. Critical failure points include failing to maintain upward or downward momentum when climbing and descending, or failing to complete the event. Upon completing the ladder climb, a proctor will assist the candidate in removing the ladder belt and will then make their way to the start of the timed events. Upon crossing the start line, a running time will begin. Time will be stopped once the candidate finishes the final event in the series. During the ground ladder carry, the candidate will remove the 24-foot extension ladder from the rack and carry it 50 feet to the designated cones. They will then place the ladder on the ground between the cones while maintaining control the entire time. Critical failure points include dropping the ladder onto the ground, not maintaining safe control of the ladder throughout the evolution, or not completing the event. During the ground ladder raise, the candidate will raise the fly section of the mounted extension ladder using the halyard. The fly section must make contact with the fly stops to ensure full extension. The candidate will then lower the ladder using an appropriate technique. Critical failure points include failing to maintain control of the halyard during the event or failing to complete the event. During the second ground ladder carry, the candidate will pick up the 24 foot extension ladder from the ground and carry it 50 feet back to the ladder rack. Once the candidate returns to the ladder rack, they will re-rack the ladder in a controlled manner. During either one of the ladder carries while unracking or re-racking the ladder, the candidate may set the ladder on the ground to maintain control or readjust technique. A suitcase carry is also an acceptable method of carrying the ladder during the events. Critical failure points include dropping the ladder onto the ground, not maintaining safe control of the ladder throughout the evolution, or not completing the event. During the hose drag, the candidate will advance a charged 150 foot inch and three quarter attack line a distance of 100 feet. The nozzle must pass the designated cones.
In addition to a straight pull, the candidate may also grab a loop of hose at the coupling with one hand and shoulder the nozzle as another option of completing the event. Regardless of technique chosen, the event is only complete when the nozzle passes the cones. The critical failure point for this event is failure to complete it. During the hotel bundle carry, the candidate will pick up a 100-foot hotel bundle of inch and three-quarter hose and proceed to the roof of the five-story training tower. Skipping steps is allowed on the way up. The candidate will then place the bundle down on the roof next to the door. The critical failure point for this event is failure to complete it. For the hose hoist, a proctor will attach a safety line to the candidate prior to the event. Using an appropriate hoisting method, the candidate will hoist a 50-foot donut roll of 3-inch hose to the top of the parapet wall. Once complete, the candidate will lower, under control, the hose roll back to the ground. Upon completion of this event, a proctor will disconnect the safety line. In addition to a straight pull, the candidate may also choose to hoist hand over hand over the parapet wall or utilize the wall to push off of to begin their hoist. Critical failure points for this event include the candidate losing control of the rope used to hoist the hose roll, the hose roll uncontrollably returning to the ground, or the candidate failing to complete the event. During the second hotel bundle carry, the candidate will pick up the 100 foot hotel bundle of inch and three quarter hose and proceed to the bottom of the training tower. The candidate must make contact with every step on the way down. The candidate will place the bundle outside of the door in the designated location. The critical failure point for this event is failure to complete it. During the dummy drag, the candidate will drag the 175 pound dummy a distance of 100 feet. The candidate must drag the dummy backwards using the provided straps or by bear hugging the dummy to the designated cones. The candidate's time stops when the dummy's feet cross the finish line. Critical failure points for this event include failing to perform a backwards drag or not being able to complete the event.